welcome to Protect Custom Gear. Again, we uh, we've made some more improvements to our uh, our design. Uh, I think we're on like the sixth generation now uh, for leather template, along with other improvements uh, to the Kydex and, and other features of the holster. So this is this is my uh, uh, most recent holster. I've carried it for about a year or so. A uh, year and a half. I went ahead and did. It's a micro. I did the top-down conversion to it. Put the belt loops in it, and I've carried it OWB a few times, like that. Um, I uh, this is the very first one with the double, two pieces of Kydex. I uh, I started doing the two pieces of Kydex with just flat, uh, and then I actually started molding the inside piece and the outside piece. And you can't quite see it, but this one this one only goes about halfway halfway down. Uh, just just to the bottom of the trigger guard. Now we're doing full Kydex coverage on both sides, inside and out, because it also serves as a sweat guard. Because as you sweat on the leather, the leather, you know, it's it's just like skin. This is the inside of the skin, just like it's the inside of the skin on your body. It it pulls moisture uh, off and to the surface so that it evaporates. So now uh, that moisture won't get to your gun. <coughs> Uh, I won't get to the majority of your gun because so, that, that uh, Kydex shield is there. Another big thing we've done to the leather template, as you can see here, see how that curves down as, as the user wears this, and depending on where the, where the belt clips are, are, are stationed and what ride height and angle they're wearing it. Sometimes, you know, when they sit down, if this is on their backside and they sit down, this corner this corner will touch the seat and it'll actually push up in their pants and the pistol grip of the gun the pistol grip of the gun can sometimes push up and ride on the the, the, the rib uh, the, the, you know the back side of the rib cage or poke them in the side so what we've done uh, with our leather temper template is we've added some flex points as you can see there so we went in and added that modification to the to the template so now these corners can flex in or out if they need to depending on where the the belt clips are positioned on the holster and you can see the comparison side by side so now this holster when I'm wearing it this area that that curves down and inward is is removed and now this and this are more able to flex in or out if they need to. <clears throat> and you can also see we've got full full Kydex coverage. Another big thing we've done, even when one-handed shooting, I find I find that as I use the I use the stacked grip, uh, stacked thumb grip, you know, like like most most uh, modern day uh, shooters do, most modern day trainers, you know, instruct this way where the tip of your thumb and the tip of your index finger are essentially lined up with one another. It gets the most skin on the gun. And when I shoot one-handed, I still use that grip. I don't tuck my thumb down. Same thing with, with left hand, you know, because uh, that's just where I'm used to holding holding the gun. So what I've what I've done is I've taken taken the original design where when I go to grab the gun, if I want to if I want to run my thumb on the inside of the gun in the holster. I pretty much have to tuck it, you know, like the old weaver grip, like this. This is the old the old grip that we all used to used to use. Well, I would draw my gun and then I'd raise that thumb up because that's how I'm used to holding the gun now. So what I did with the new with the new design is took that cut, took that curve, did away with it, made it a constant taper, and actually cut a recess cut right down in here for my thumb to run right alongside the gun when I holster it and when I draw it. So now when I draw, right there I'm in my stacked thumb grip. So I don't have to adjust, I don't have to adjust my hand at all now from the holster to shooting. <clears throat> and again, uh, full Kydex coverage. The we uh, we still program the curve into the into the holsters. We saddle soap them, we Lexol them. We use all stainless steel mounting hardware, stainless steel T-nuts and screws, uh, rubber washers, stainless steel lock, lock washers uh, on, on the clips to keep them from, keep the screws from loosening up and uh, the rubber washer holds it in place nicely. 
Uh, we still laser engrave everything. Still using Kydex 100 or Kydex V, whichever we can get our hands on. Uh, both are, are uh, heavier duty than Kydex Calcutta T, and that's what's most commonly used in the in the holster industry. So we're using premium Kydex, and of course the leather is still premium, 10 ounce thick horse hide. Very durable stuff. Uh, if you've seen some of our other videos, we've we've beat up on these things pretty good, and we've got uh, several users in the field who have put them to the test. Uh, I've never seen a piece of this tear. I actually uh, was uh, cutting some some pieces of leather out uh, a couple days ago, the stack to be exact, and uh, I had a, a shaving that was quarter of an inch wide, and just just to see if I could do it, it was I don't know two and a half feet long. I pulled it as hard as I could just to see if I could break it apart, and there's no way. Um, it's it's really really tough stuff. I mean, it's horse hide. Horse hide is is a good good quality product. So, anyways, those are our most recent uh, upgrades to our holsters. This uh, these flex points will be added to both the micro uh, template, the micro holster, and the standard. The small of the back, the SOB is already rotated far enough uh, far enough forward away from the curve that you can get that good stacked thumb grip on it right from the draw as you draw from the small of your back. Uh, so that, that one won't change and the flex points really aren't needed on the small of the back one because it's right in the center of your back. And the, uh, the cross draw already has them built into it. Uh, and we are making a, an AIWB uh, hybrid with full Kydex coverage holster that we'll be coming out with soon. Uh, it's another teaser. Uh, I know I've mentioned that a few times now. But um, uh, I'm actually working with a team of guys who carry AIWB uh, everyday carry because I don't. It hurts my lower back because of the pressure it puts on my lower back from my belt. But uh, I've got several friends who do, so I'm working with them to, uh, to, to t and e it and uh, I'll be putting some videos up about it once we, uh, once we get it near completion. But God bless you guys, and stay safe out there. Thank you.